This example is a little more complicated. Here we want to simplify the expression 2x to the 6th y squared, all of that is raised to the 5th, over negative 32x to the 20th y to the 10th. Okay, so we'll need our rules of exponents. Let's bring those up. The first thing that jumps out to me here is that we have this 5 hanging out here in the front. We need to deal with that so that we can use other properties of exponents and simplify this out. So let's take care of that first. So I'm thinking we'll use this property here, which tells us what to do when we have different things inside the parentheses, but a single exponent outside. All right, so that tells us that this 5 is going to go through to each one of these terms. Okay, so that gives us 2 to the 5th, x to the 6th, all to the 5th, and then y squared to the 5th. Right, and you don't have to do it in this level of detail, but you can. The, the denominator stays the same y to the 10th. A lot of people would just multiply these straight away. Okay, so let's see. 2 to the 5th is 32. Then we have x to the 6 times 5. So now I'm using this second property here, right, that tells us when I have it, an exponent taken to another exponent, we multiply the exponents together. So x to the 6 times 5, y to the 2 times 5, same thing. So I'm just going to rewrite these here. 6 times 5 is 30, 2 times 5 is 10. So this gives us 30 and 10 here. Denominator still the same old song and dance down here. Negative 32 x to the 20, y to the 10th. Now there's a few ways we can deal with this. Um, first off, look, these 32's cancel out. We still have a negative, so this negative is going to stay. So whatever our answer is, this negative can just come to the front. Same thing with these y to the tenths. They can just cancel out, right? And you have y to the tenth on the top and the bottom. You can cancel them straight out like that. You could also look at it another way. You could use the properties of exponents here. y to the 10 minus 10 is another way to look at it, which is y to the 0. But anything to the 0 here is 1. So one, any way you slice that, those are going away. What we're left with is just these x terms here. And now I will use this other rule of exponents here. So we have the same base, but we're dividing. So we're using this rule down here. That gives us x to the 30 minus 20. All right, so final answer, negative x to the 10th. So the good news is sometimes these super complicated expressions simplify down really nicely to something quite compact and easy to write.